kick that last one. No, let's go check it out. That's not good draws. Oh, of course you can. This is this is the modular airborne firefighting system. This is the MAPS unit. Uh, so you have the reservoir right here, which is the 3,000 gallon reservoir for the retardant that we actually drop. It comes out through this S duct here, which goes through the dissemination tube on the outside of the airplane, which is operated by a panel controlled by these hydraulics right here. Essentially, all the arming and servicing happens from right back here, as well as arming the system in flight for the actual drop is all done by the two load masters sitting right here. Uh, so these are just kind of a rundown of 2,950 gallons of water on board right now. We need to get some air, we need to recharge our hydraulics, which is letting us know the reservoir pressure is low and the hydraulic pressure is also low, and that the compressors, in fact, the compressor are off. And that's uh, that's it in a nutshell. It's one big contained unit that just fits inside the airplane with additional tie down chains that we use in addition to the restraint rails that are provided on the airplane. And uh, we assemble the paratroop door plug, which is where the vent tube, which is this that comes out, this, this allows pressure equalization within the system. And then uh, we install the door plug and then install the S duct on the outside of the airplane, which you can see. Yeah, uh, I, myself and Master Sergeant Scarban, we're actually going through instructor upgrade this year. So this year we'll be qualified as instructors on the system. And so, yeah, we'll, along with our training is to get certified as instructors, we're also going to be training the, the new guys that are going to be coming through and operating the system as well. Pretty sweet. Uh, it was a lot cooler with the legacy system from a loadmaster's perspective because you could sit on the on the ramp in between the tubes as it went out. You know, your, your view is uh, greatly obstructed now because we don't have to have anything open in the back of the airplane. But uh, as far as the flexibility and, and the capabilities of this system as to what it's designed to do in comparison to the legacy system is, is hands down a better system. It allows us to make multiple racetracks and drop on the same fire in different spots using different, uh, different levels of actual water or retardant that we actually drop. We don't have to do it in one shot. It arms with one push of a button, it disarms with one push of a button. And uh, the idea with this system is that we can land at a remote tanker base that only has retardant for us to service with. We don't need air because this system that has air compressors on it. So we can actually compress the air, land at maybe an out, outlying airfield somewhere that doesn't have to be a huge tanker base that could just get us retardant. And we have all our own air and then we can go right back onto a fire without having to go back to one tanker base every time. thing and then that way we can do uh, put the water in the tank and then do the pressurization tests uh, before General Jacoby gets here. gallons 
into the aircraft. And uh, before it reaches the aircraft, it's mixed either powder form um, with the water or a liquid form with water. And then it's pumped into the aircraft through fire hoses, as you see out here. you know that it's armed and it'll start flashing really 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 bright and then we will go ahead and uh, we may get a, a countdown from them and then it'll just 